The coronavirus continues to spread outside of China. South Korea, Iran, and Italy all reporting large numbers of cases. And while the disease isn't spreading in the United States, people are beginning to see the effects in different ways. In central Arkansas, you'd be hard pressed to find a face mask. As concern grows, so does demand for something some think might help. But just how effective are they? THV 11's Mercedes McKay has that answer. Molly and Craig, the director of communications for Arkansas Pharmacists Association, told me the shortage of face masks in pharmacies is a problem nationwide. I spoke with a local pharmacist today. He says they typically give out the masks for free, but now you'll have to pay to protect yourself. Now they're coming in and asking for them. What once was the last box of 20 has now dwindled down to the single digits. I have exactly one mask remaining because we really had a run on them. When the coronavirus outbreak began, Brian Cozy, owner of Brian's Pharmacy in Sherwood, says he noticed people buying them in bulk. Customers saying they were traveling internationally and wanted to have them on hand. We ran out initially, we got a resupply, and then we haven't been able to get any since then. The shelves have been empty for the past two weeks, and Cozy fears there's a possibility restocking won't happen until mid-May. We order them from our drug wholesaler and they have been out. But is this piece of material that effective? Virus particles are very tiny and they'll pass through a surgical mask basically unhindered. To put it into perspective, the mask can stop someone from spreading the virus because it catches the water droplets they exhale and that's what the virus is trapped in. But the virus particles floating around in the air are not attached to water droplets and are small enough to pass into the mask. They're useful for people who are already sick. People are already sneezing and coughing. Cozy says while so many are concerned about the coronavirus, people should be more concerned about what has already taken over 50 lives in Arkansas. Flu is by far a larger problem. Cozy says while you should be focusing more on the flu, you need to remember to wash your hands regularly and with soap and water. Also that it isn't too late to get your flu shot.